old enough that I was in the last generation that got polio. My best friend had polio, yada, yada, yada. Joni Mitchell has had polio, has a weak left side. Very careful about the way her pictures are taken, never mind. Okay, so anyway, so what years I've been thinking about instruments for people with disabilities or how that would translate into uh, just neural, you know, neural silicon interfaces, which they don't let me play with because I can barely run a soldering iron. But anyway, so I started, I come across a little money and started playing around with this stuff. And I come to find out that stuff, when I talked to Future Man 20 years ago, it would have taken NASA. We're talking about a suit, I forget that part, where you do this and it'll make music. When you do this, do, 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 make music. At that time, it would have taken all of NASA and hundreds of thousands of dollars to do it with little accelerometers on your fingers and stuff. Nowadays, so you're going to get this to work. I made all this stuff and it doesn't quite, I forgot how it works. Nowadays, you can get this thing, it's $20. This is a Korg. This is a kid's toy. This thing has more power. You recognize that? This thing has more power than the first Moog synthesizer. I bet. I don't know that for a fact. But I, I, I just about guarantee it. It's a single note synthesizer. That's it. It does all this, all this crazy stuff. Okay, okay, your kid's theremin. There's a toy, this is nothing, this is a throwaway. This is, they can give these, okay, so to get this to work, you guys want to hack into stuff. This is a Honeytone Dan Electro amplifier for practicing so you don't drive your parents crazy. It, and I went and hacked into it very crudely and ran a, a uh, you know, a, a, a plug out. So this acts as a preamp. It works as a preamp for anything. You don't care. It's got a little speaker in it, but you don't care about that either. But if you need something that needs a preamp that loves to distort, this is it. Okay, so fine. Okay, so now we get back to the... I was going to figure out how to do... That would be part of the suit, right? You could put one of those little core things like this or something. There's a flexible... I've got a flexible um, keyboard I didn't bring that you can wear and play. It's got 80 key, uh, 60 keys or something. It, it's in tune. It's got 100 effects in it. Okay, so now this, so this led to the drum machine that you can uh, watch it not work. Am I plugged in? But anyway, so this is the drum machine, which doesn't work. Yeah, there it is. Come on. This is a Yamaha. I haven't played this. Anyway, the problem with this is I'm totally spastic when it comes to <laughs> uh, percussion. The other problem is that there's a delay. These aren't these aren't signals. They're samples. That's all it does. You can't uh, see, there's a, you can't you can't make it do anything but that. It has a duration and a decay. Okay, so fine. Yay, seventy bucks in a throw. Boom, now it works. Okay, but anyhow, there's a hundred effects in this thing. I don't know if you can see it. Whatever, three, four, five, six, seven. And up here, I think. Up here someplace in the, uh, where is that? Up here someplace. Oh, 50 effects. Somewhere there's, it makes goat noises and stuff. <laughs> there. So what do you have on your shoes? Huh? Oh, that's what I'm getting to. Okay. Okay, anyway, so you got this. So I start taking these things apart because they're expensive. 
And I find out, let me change my shoes. I've come to find out, oops, okay, that's good, that the drum pads, that when you buy the machine before I ruined it, it's a, a box with four rubber pads, like thusly. Those are your impacts. I mean, that's your triggers, they call them, drum triggers. Okay, fine. Learn something new every day. Come to find out, hacking around on the internet, that things are identical to a piezo uh, buzzer. The Radio Shack sells for $250. <laughs> and that would be one of those. When you take them apart, there's this little brass doohickey. It comes with a little black thing. And you put corn in, turn it, the buzz. Big deal. 250. Now, when you take those apart, this is, uh, I should use a preamp for this, but whatever. This was stolen from an even, even crazier friend of mine named Ron Small called just a piece of conduit, one of those pickups, a bass string, yada yada. Okay. I call that the Planetron because mm -hmm. it's flangent. Okay, so then the next version of that, I'm put it in the headphone. I, I'm famous for doing that. There's one of the ones that's not disassembled as much. That's what it was. Anyway, but there you go. So this is the. Tub base. <laughs> so that total price on this is probably approaching no five dollars, which is uh, less if you steal stuff. <laughs> so then I'm playing around with that stuff <laughs> even more. <laughs> oh, they love you at bluegrass, especially if you bring a stack of Marshalls to play it through. They love that. <laughs> okay, so I won't torture you with this, but more than just a second. So I'm doing, okay, so what are these little piezo discs? What are they good for? Here's another one. Still in housing. Well, gee, I wonder if they'll pick up. <coughs> yep. See, contact might cost 20 bucks. This thing costs two dollars. <laughs> Ding, magic bell went off. Okay. So now I've got, I didn't bring any, but I've replaced all the pickups in a whole line of my bases, pickups cost me 35 bucks wholesale. I can put two of these two dollar things, oh, I forgot, I get them online for, sort of similar to Steampunk, there's this whole group of crazy people called, that do cigar box guitars. And that's, that's just a whole mad scene of people. It's a community. What? It's a whole community. A whole community of people with dull knives and, and glue guns and stuff. <laughs> All right, man, lots of decals. So anyhow, if I had this thing working, I was running it through this thing called a mini chaos pad that has 99 effects in it. And I mean, this is going to be more power, more computing power than the space shuttle or something. It's, it's insane. It does so many tricks. And this is a, uh, a, qu a triple 99 for some reason, they're all 99 uh, effects on each one of three, three pedals, and a tuner, and 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 another thing, and some modeling stuff and stuff. Okay, so fine. So taking these, I didn't bring them. But two of these little, two of these little brass things glued to the bridge of any instrument will give you the same effect as a hundred dollar piezo pickup. Yay. So that made me back all the money I spent chopping up drum machines and stuff. So that's good. And they sound great. They're easy to use and you don't need a, a preamp and you, you can use just a volume control. They're great. So they're 
And I'm buying them now from the Cigar Box guitar guys for 82 cents a piece and lots of 20. So I could probably, if I wanted to, electrify a chair. Uh, and it would make different noises. But it's all, the expensive part is this, getting the machine, the, the impulse to a sampler to trigger an effect. And the real drum machines are like $150, $200, and I haven't bought one yet, because like I said, I can't play percussion. So, okay, but anyway, okay, that's what I, now what I need your help from is I bought a shop bot. It's all his fault. And I, I'm not really hip enough to program it. And I'm having problems getting from that Parkworks interface to the machine. Just simple stuff. It took me forever to figure out zero, X, and Y with the limit switches. I figured that out a week ago. And I was like, oh my god, now I can do the same thing twice. But anyway. So these are my simple, stupid programs. There's three concentric circles or something. And this is all cut. Everything you see except the fingerboard is all one operation on a shop pot. Hollow it out, bongo drum head goes here. I'll show you on the other one. Yada, 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 turn it on, make the fingerboard, put it on, boom, I've got a half hour, maybe more than this, to this point. I sold two of these so far for a hundred bucks a piece. So, okay, so that goes to this. Add another, whatever, 10 bucks, 20 bucks worth of stuff, and which is the tuners and the strings, find the drum head. I can't play you either. Actually, some uh, mountain ear type. Oh, he broke it. Mm, I gotta fix it. The guy broke it. Never mind. He just sent this one back because I did something stupid and I had to fix it. But I'll fix it again. Where the the uh, screws hold down the T nuts and pulls the banjo nut. No problem. Okay. So the other thing I can do with a shop bot is concentric circles. Most of the time, so it is. And. Three concentric circles, that does this, and I do everything else on a bandsaw. Because I, I know how to do that, and it's, I don't have to program all this stuff. It's just easy, you know, it's like three minutes to cut this out. Okay, so, so I got to there. And I'm needing somebody to help me get up to the next step. But this is the best project so far on the shop bot. This is a Oh, this stuff here is a resonator. It's called a resonator cone invented by the Dopiro brothers in uh, 1920-something. Which is kind of fun, but they were trying to, there was a problem when they went to the jazz bands where they needed a louder guitar. And th this was one of the earlier designs of stuff they could do to make a, uh, make a louder guitar. But it's got perfect, perfect, perfect sound reproduction for its. What kind of pickup are you using? Well, that's a Ken Armstrong. That cost me 45 bucks, 50 bucks wholesale. But the sound that you, the tonal qualities of the sound are not from the pickup, they're from the cone. That gives you your decay and delay. And it's a stand. It's a beautiful, beautiful 80 year old system. And it works from anything from mandolins up to basses. So if anybody would like to help me figure out how to get that damn parts works to, I mean, I'm really ignorant on computer stuff at all. But so anyway, help! But that's what I do. And uh, the that and the piezos have just knocked me up a whole a whole step. So I've given up on this dancing stuff <laughs> because because I can't play. I can't I can't dance. <laughs> so that's all I got.
<laughs> so the right, so pickups don't require a The Alamance Makers Guild is a group of talented and creative makers located in Alamance County, North Carolina, and is sponsored in part by Harris Educational, makers of reinventing science kits like Reinventing Edison Build Your Own Light Bulb.